Now to an interview you'll see only on CBS This Morning. It involves the biker road rage case in New York City. A second undercover police officer is coming forward. He says he was part of the motorcycle ride that ended with an attack of the driver of an SUV. Our senior correspondent, John Miller, is a former New York deputy police commissioner. John, good morning. Good morning, Charlie and Nora. 28-year-old police officer Matt Rodriguez has worked in plain clothes fighting crime in New York City's subways and was recently assigned to an elite undercover unit in Internal Affairs, the NYPD unit that fights corruption. But when we met Rodriguez at the district attorney's office, he was the one on the hot seat. Can you tell us what happened today between... The undercover police officer Matt Rodriguez and his lawyer emerged from a meeting with prosecutors after more than an hour of discussions over the case of the motorcycle assault against SUV driver Alexi and Lien in front of his wife and child. Rodriguez said he had nothing to do with the assault. How hard has this been going through this, especially with all the attention? Uh, it's been pretty difficult, but uh, I can only take it one day at a time from now on. Rodriguez is now the second New York City undercover police officer to come forward to say he was riding with the group that was involved in the assault. Just last week, the first undercover New York City detective who came forward was charged with assault, riot, and criminal mischief after investigators said he lied about his role in the attack on the SUV. The lawyer for Officer Rodriguez said his client's story checks out. What you told them was you weren't there for any assault, you weren't part of any assault, you didn't even witness any assault. John, I, I, with all due respect, I'm going to stop you right there. Not that Pat Bonanno, Rodriguez's Rodriguez attorney, says his way. client had fallen to the rear of the pack of motorcycles, that he didn't see the confrontation where the SUV was surrounded by motorcycles and drove over two of them to escape. Rodriguez reportedly told investigators he took a different exit off the highway to visit his grandfather in a nursing home, so he was never even on the street where the final assault took place. Police officer Matthew Rodriguez voluntarily presented himself to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office to um, answer any and all questions and concerns they had uh, regarding his alleged involvement uh, of the incidents of September 29th. It appears that the district attorney's office will discover, as we have known from day one, uh, that there are no acts of criminality on behalf of Matthew Rodriguez. Well, how did you feel to sit down with uh, the investigators today and be able to, to get your story out? I was just glad to be given the opportunity to actually say my piece. Is it appropriate for police officers to be part of some motorcycle gang? Well, number one, this is not a motorcycle gang. Frontline Soldiers was a small group of law enforcement individuals and former veterans. The NYPD itself has a motorcycle club. So he was part of an organization of other law enforcement individuals that he thought was involved in charitable organizations and charitable things. Rodriguez has not been suspended or put on modified assignment that's assigned to desk duty without a badge or a gun. But prosecutors do have other questions for him, including what contact he did or didn't have with other officers before, during, and after the assault. And the police department in their internal investigation will also want to know why he waited as long as he did to come forward when obviously the investigation was mm. highly publicized. So he has a lot more questions to answer. He has some, but as it stands now, it doesn't look like he's facing the criminal charges that the other officer was. Do you still expect more officers might come forward? There will be. Really? Uh, we're aware of a third officer uh, who was a former narcotics undercover. Uh, prosecutors are aware of him. But here's what's going on. Normally, the NYPD would pull all these cops in and question them and get right down to business. But because prosecutors are considering criminal charges, they've said to the NYPD, let's slow this down and let's bring them in and interview them with the district attorney's office before we get to any departmental regulations. And we believe the total number of cops or officers I, involved. I still think, Nora, we're talking about a universe of five or six tops. With all the attention that this has received, I mean, how embarrassing for the NYPD is it? Yeah. Obviously, it's very embarrassing, and I think the extension of that is going to be what does the department exactly. do 
about creating a regulation about what kind of clubs or activities you can be a member of off-duty. Uh, this certainly didn't end up looking good. And, and the club these guys were in was a group of seven people, one of whom was a wounded warrior and the other six of whom were police officers uh, that fell in with this larger group. And reinforced rules as to what to do if you see something being committed. Which I think has already been reinforced. Yeah, exactly. but, but you're right, Charlie. They'll put it on paper. Exactly. John Miller, thank you.